Today, we're gonna to teach you how to rescue breathe. Thanks. Rescue breathing is an essential part of responding to an overdose. The first thing we have to do is learn how to assess someone's breathing. Cami. There are two things to assess to make sure someone's breathing effectively. One, respiratory rate. Two, tidal volume. What's tidal volume? Tidal volume is how deep the breath is. Mm. To check, look for chest rise and fall. Next, respiratory rate. This is how many times someone's breathing within a minute. Check, count how many times they're breathing per minute. A normal person should breathe at least 12 times per minute. Anything less means they need rescue breathing. Take out your face shield. Open it up flat, put the plastic part in between their teeth, form a protective seal, and blow. One breath every five seconds. It's gonna look like this. And as always, if you think someone's overdosing, make sure you call 911 and administer naloxone. tell if this person is overdosing? Let me teach you the most common signs of an opioid overdose. Also known as the opioid overdose triad. All right, first symptom is pinpoint pupils and how you can check is, take out your phone, turn on the flashlight, shine the light in their eye and if their pupil is non-responsive to the light and stays tiny and pinpoint, this is often a symptom. Next symptom is unconsciousness, like you can't wake them up at all, which you can check with a good old sternal rub. Turn your hand to a fist and grind your knuckles hard and fast against their sternum. And the third symptom is respiratory depression, which basically means they're not breathing effectively. And to check, look and listen. Look for chest rise and fall and listen for air coming out of their mouth. And if they're breathing less than 12 times per minute, they're experiencing respiratory depression. And if they're experiencing all three of these symptoms, call 911 and administer naloxone. What is naloxone? Naloxone is a competitive opioid antagonist. And you're probably like, what does that mean? It basically just means that it's a medicine that can reverse opiate overdoses. Opiates and opioids are a class of medication that include Percocet, Vicodin, heroin, and fentanyl. And there's different brands and ways to administer naloxone. But all of them reverse opioid overdoses just the same. You're probably most familiar with this brand, Narcan. Hmm? But there's also this brand, Clexato. All three of these are naloxone. These two brands are administered through the nose, and this one is administered through your muscle. And that's what naloxone is. And now lock. You bought some drugs? Don't worry, we're not cops. We just don't want you to die. Here's how to use a fentanyl test strip so you don't die. Here's what you're gonna need. Water, your substance, fentanyl test strip, and something you can stir with. Step one, you're gonna fill a container with some water. For this, you can use a cup or a cap of a water bottle. Fill your container with about 15 milliliters of water, which is about a tablespoon. Or you can even use the bag that the test strips come in. Next, pour in some of your substance. If you are testing MDMA or meth, you should test about 10 milligrams, but all other drugs require about 50 milligrams to be tested. And then mix it until it's fully dissolved. And if you have pills, you're gonna wanna test every individual pill. Crush the pill, and then shake it so it's thoroughly mixed. Now's the fun part. Open up your package and take out your test strip. And the side with the little blue triangles is the side you're going to put into the water. Dip the strip into the water for at least 10 seconds. Take it out of the water and wait about 60 seconds. Now you got your results. Two lines means no fentanyl, but one line, that means your substance most likely has fentanyl in it. False negatives absolutely can happen, which is why it's super important to always carry Narcan close by. Stay safe out there.